Hello everybody, my name is Justin Hoodie, and I'm back again with another YouTube video. And I wanted to take you to my pure imagination. Come with me, and you be in my world of Justin Pure Imagination. <laughs> I'm just joking. So anyway, I'll be able to talk to you guys about one of the time favorite movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Not the Johnny Depp one from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm talking about the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory by Waldorf himself and from what right in 1971. Yep. So here what I have by all my Wonkers, including my scum the bar, my little golden ticket. Let's see. There are my Wonka bar, and my little one. Uh, my golden egg. Some of these my cards that I actually got from a VRK for the fake golden ticket. And Jim Wilder, Jim Wilder, Will Walker himself. This amazing fudge mellow. <laughs> this my Wonka bar. Don't worry, it's not real. It's just, it's just prop that I put my wood and put tin foil in it, and then I wrapped it around to make it more like a a movie prop as possible. That I fun, and this one. <clears throat> it's a sign when they actually walk through and say Storeroom No 51 Dairy Cream, Whipped Cream, Coffee Cream, Vanilla Cream, Hell Cream <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, Sorry, I have like this scratchy fur in my, my foot So anyway, I'll be able to actually show you guys how to like, make your own Wonka bar Based off from the original movie. Now I know I'd be able to look at my phone and then I can like look at all the pictures of my like, how I did get a quote. And that guy named I think it's called by like, Wonka.com, which I don't know. I think he like a guy that actually sell Wonka stuff. But he might sell it on eBay. Let's see, on and on Etsy. Yeah, you haven't even like looking at. I'll even put down in the description down below. So he made like the best Wonka bar with the golden ticket in it. Just like from the movie. There it is. And then when I actually if I got it. It actually turned out to be like this. And I had a gold ticket with the real chocolate. That me. And then if you actually look closely, this is more like right here. And here you can actually see it from the movie when by, by, when my Vuka saw actually wanted a golden ticket in order to all the female trying to open a thousand monkey bar, trying to actually find a gold ticket. I wanted to actually make it as close as that as possible. So, what I ended up like doing is that I just like try to find some some monk bar. Or if you have a hard time trying to find it, just make it as your own. Like just like a few ingredients. But first what you do is just like go to eBay. Oh no! What you go to NC NC where I might find the. Let's see where is it? I know I have it here somewhere. One minute. Ah, there it is. This one. When they kind of go close to the the actual. Chocolate bar from the movie, and it only cost like five bucks or something. 
put the shipping in. Yeah, put the shipping. That will be like six dollars just to be safe. And then I just like got myself. A Hershey. I got that. Then I go to my NC store and then I just put in some. Let's see. Wonka. Bar. Wonka bar. I'm And then you can actually look up. This guy, which he had to sell all the Wonka stuff. He had to have a lot, a lot of Wonka stuff. And then you just might wanted to buy this with a golden ticket. Just for fun, if you wanted to give it to someone else, you can. Or if you don't want to handle the chocolate, I recommend you do it in a different way <coughs> or why not. You know, it costs like thirty dollar depending on the shipping, and then kind of more like lip. I know it kind of like too big for the natural mold. But it's kind of more like I'm gonna actually do that. Kind of more like this. I know it's not very that small, but in the movie, well, I know it is small, but in the movie. The golden ticket is actually by flattened by this, just by Charlie and Charger Factory by Johnny Depp. But in the original, they actually like wrap it around it to make it more like, kind of more like real legit. And then, well, I was going to actually show you guys what I mean. Sorry, the pen for it. And then you can actually see kind of more like kind of more like this. I mean, I know I use some scissors to trying to cut this part off, but and then I just like printed it out with the with the Office Depot, so I just like put my made copy, print them out hard. That way I can keep it the original. Or just probably by using it instead of by trying to rip it. But I'm gonna open it just for fun. If I swirl you ah from the movie. And then this is a special tape that you can actually do it for the chocolate bar. Is it like garbage or why not? Yeah. And then you can reuse the if you want, I just put a graph on it. But I wonder if I can go and take it. I'm gonna open it just like from Charlie and Chocolate. I mean, we walk at a chocolate factory. How Charlie Bucket actually found for a ticket, sorry. Oh Um. It. Alright. Well, I found I found a golden ticket. Even though it had chocolate on it, but you can actually try to wipe it and then try to keep the golden ticket. Yeah, I shouldn't sure actually like thought about that, but I mean it kinda of like okay, so I just use my powers. Now, did it actually what it actually came like? So I did if I use my scissors to like try to cut it out and then try to like, yeah, try to cut it out to make it just like a movie. I mean, you can like reuse the only because you have to like try to use some hand side wipes to try and clean the golden ticket, but not too much. Otherwise, the golden ticket will be, uh, I don't know, destroyed. So here is the chocolate bar that I melted from the movie. Kind of more exactly the same from what you see from a movie. When you know all the picture of our day wrapping it, and then you see that part. 
it's kind of like very close you can get. So I'm gonna try eating my very own oh charge box. Hmm. It kind of like not bad. I mean, it kind of more like little tiny chocolate. Yeah, right. You have to like melt it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Just a little bit. And then put it back, put it in, put it out. And then once you actually melt it, you pour it into here, and then you want to tap it. And then put it in the freezer, and then once it's hard, you gently try to break it, without even destroying it. And then, you have your chocolate bar. You know, I kind of like the, the original one rather than the Johnny Depp one. It kind of was a bit creepy, but I mean, I don't mind of it. But yeah, the golden ticket that I have is just kind of like kind of melty melty a little bit. Right. I mean, it kind of like cool. It kind of like fake rather than like this one, the real one. This one you can actually put it inside the Wonka bar. It said, by Wonka Golden Ticket. Greeting to you, the lucky finder of the golden ticket from Mr. Willy Wonka. Present the ticket at the factory gate at 10 o'clock in the morning of the first day of October. And do not be late. Do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your family and only one but no one else. In your wildest, in your wildest dreams, you could not imagine the marvelous surprises that await you. Here I come. My good day, I don't actually accidentally eat it just like from the jar of death. Like, I got the group actually like eat it, and then he said, and then pointing, and I found a golden ticket. A good thing. How do you manage to celebrate? How do you celebrate? I eat more candy. He eats. Ah, it's going up. He eats so many candy bars, it is impossible for him not to find one. <laughs> that should probably put it in the freezer. Yeah, it's kind of like a hard work trying to like make the golden ticket. Well, now make golden ticket. Like trying to make, trying to like melt a Hershey chocolate bar, and then do all that thing. But if you might have like a kid birthday party, or if you want to give it for Christmas, or give it to like Valentine, I recommend you actually by do it. And then safely. But what you want to do is that you need to buy tin foil. Probably do it that way. Some scissors, some tape, some special tape. I don't know what it's called. This is my double side tape. Wonka bar. And the Hershey. Let me get my table. Now, you wanted to actually buy this because normally it's in a good condition and you don't want it to like, try to like, destroy it at all times. So I recommend you do it just by put some tape onto here. I put one. Two, 
two. We have a four. That way, the little by N here doesn't actually keep bothering you when you try to buy doing it. And then you have to buy trying to cut it the length of it or trying to put it upside. Upside down. There we go. And then what you want to do is just like try to go right there. This is gonna be a long video, so just let you guys know. Okay, go right there. And then if it's too much, you can actually use scissors to like cut it off slowly. Not too much. Alright, once you actually like have all that, you can actually try to go right there from the actual movie. And don't worry, the chocolate bar is not going to be stale. My dad actually told me that chocolate will last forever. So, yeah, you can actually like try to. Give it one of your family or one of your friends if you want to. Well, I'm going to tell you guys to go to the to Office Depot and try to scan it and copy it and then print it out. And the rest of the they can actually allow you because I did that from a year ago and then they might say we cannot actually do that because it's kind of more like copyright. So either that or it's just like how to write Print it at my house. It's, the ink it costs a lot, a lot of money. And they're like harder to come by. The ink is harder to come by. And I had to like buy it online, but somehow the ink doesn't seem to work for no odd reason. So yeah, just try to like do it if possible. I don't know. Okay. Then you have like this. I mean, it doesn't really matter you wrap it dry, but it actually might be good. And if you want, you can actually like unwrap it, unwrap the wrapper, try again, put the gold ticket underneath it. That way, the chocolate, that way, the golden ticket doesn't actually like cause the damage of. The charger. I'm probably like gonna put some hands on right feet. And then you wanted to actually have the one bar and you wanted to like face it this way. Hopefully it'll fit. Better like fit. And you wanted to do like this. Oh boy. Um oh boy. I don't think the and then if it's like too long, you have to like try to... Oh no. Yeah, if it's like too long, too long, you can actually try to scissors to like cut off the, the end. I know people might think, no, Justin, don't do that. But you have to because A, it's long. B, you cannot find a chocolate bar mold to trying to like make it big and see how she you know if I made some XL like extra large so man. yeah that kind of like a, a no brainer okay we're trying to go like this and you wanted to buy you the double side tape to trying to buy hmm Oh, I think you need to get a new one. I got that one done in stick. Okay. That didn't uh, work out for you. I recommend you like do it longer. Yeah, that's 
Dear me to love. I know. Ah. Yeah, gently, gently, and then that didn't work. And see, you have like a little end here that already been torn off. And then you have to like use this uh, slowly without damaging your Funka Boy. Papa. Go. Go right there. Close it right there. And there you go. You have your very own Wonka bar. And plus, you don't have to like try to use. Then you don't have to like use the the chocolate bar mode and trying to melt it and trying to like put it in the freezer, trying to handle it. If you don't want to take responsibility, I recommend you to wrap it, the Hershey bar, and then put tin foil, and then wrap it around with a Wonka bar, and then you can probably like give it to one of your friends and one of your family, just for fun, not for selling things, not for selling. Otherwise, uh, people always say, you're not allowed to actually sell it, that's copyright. Uh, no. So, yeah, and then whatever someone left over in there can actually put away in the trash. Um, and then one can actually put it in the trash. Yeah, I think that all the video that I actually have. So, thank you all so much for watching the video. If you like my video, please hit the thumb up and leave a comment down below on which Willy Wonka do you actually like. And then, if you actually new on my channel, please hit the bell icon and hit the notification and subscribe on my channel for my future video. Okay, normally I just like working through like Monday to Thursday. So I might get to have a day off on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm not really sure, but in uh, February, it's going to be my my birthday. So that's like very good. Alright, uh, well I hope you guys have a wonderful day.